Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I am Penge and welcome back to Founder's Fortune, where last time out we welcomed Wolfgang. So there is Wolfgang, he is the newest member of our little settlement, and as well as amazing us with his amazingly neat and tidy moustache there, he also amazed us by turning up and pretty much immediately building a masterpiece. And it is a wonderful, wonderful thing. It is, of course, over here, and there it is, the bed of tranquility and it's just amazing to behold. It's got lovely soft pillows. I imagine it has silk sheets and it's a double bed. It's a double bed which does put all of the other beds in our village to shame a little bit because all of the other beds are single beds. I mean of course these are two single beds pushed together but they're all just single beds and I mean they look okay. They look okay. They look functional, I would say. They don't look overly comfortable. They don't look uncomfortable. You know, they've got, you know, sheets and a pillow and stuff. But this here, this just looks better. If you had a choice of sleeping in one of these single beds here or sleeping in this bed here, you'd choose this bed. You would choose the bed of tranquility every single time. So it was very impressive that he just turned up and got that done. And of course, that has put a little bit of pressure on Horst because Horst is our resident craftsman. For years and years, Horst has been the guy that builds the stuff. He's been the crafty man. And it wasn't that long ago that Horst had his own inspiration. And we plowed loads of resources into it. And Horst spent ages at the craftsman's table, building away and working things out. And then right at the end, it all went wrong. And Horst's inspirational kind of thing just came to nothing. He made nothing at all. It all went horribly wrong. So he might be feeling a little bit silly that Wolfgang has just you know, turned up at the colony, gone, hello everyone, I'm here now. Hi, how are you? And then he's made this wonderful, wonderful thing. So well done, Wolfgang. You've certainly made an impact. And as well, you're a farmer. You came with farming skills, so you are now our third farmer, which is very handy. So he's out in the fields working on our relocated farm and it's all looking good. The farm is looking very good, lots of stuff. Things up here are looking good. All the kind of numbers are looking very nice, maxed out on stone. I mean, wood isn't looking too great, but there is a reason for that. And that is because, of course, we've got ourselves a deep crystal mine. We built this right at the end of the previous part because getting crystals was becoming a bit tricky. They're a little bit far away. So we thought, Do you know what? Let's just get ourselves a deep crystal mine. Let's just get these out. I hadn't noticed that there's not that many in there. I've literally only just noticed that at that very moment just then. There's only 36 crystals left in this mine. It was very expensive to build that mine. It took a lot of effort to put that in. It cost a lot of money and such like. Okay, never mind. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, that's 36 more crystals than we didn't have before. So there we go. That's all fine. So I think what we need to do today is we need to churn through the research. We're currently researching, what are we researching? Strong watchtowers. And the research now is getting quite difficult to do. I mean, that's 120 things. How is that broken down? So 100 crystals and 20 scrolls. We've got one scroll and 57 crystals. So we are going to need to invest in scrolls whenever the, uh, whenever the traders come by, because yeah, we're gonna run out of those fairly quickly. So we need to kind of you know, keep working through the research. And I also think we should get an iron mine. I mean, I know we could keep going out and getting iron. There is a little bit over here. Maybe we should get this iron first before we then actually get our iron mine down. I mean, Antonia is going to be in there for a little while, isn't she? Because we told her to go into there. Is she still in there? Oh no, she's come out. She's having a little bite to eat. Okay, that's fair. That's absolutely fine. But yeah, I think actually she's going back in. Yeah, once she's eaten, she's going back in. So this is all good. So I think maybe we get an iron mine at a later point. Let's have a look. Do you know what? Let's move time on. What do we need to get an iron mine? In work, what exactly do we need to do? So an iron ore mine, that's 500 wood. So yeah, we might need to you know, do a little bit of a wood gathering. 10 iron ore and 600 coins. They're all things we can do. The wood is fine. We'll get that back. Iron ore, yeah, that's okay. That's not too bad. 600 coins. That's quite a lot though. So we are going to need to be doing a bit of trading when the traders come by. How about we make some stuff. We've got a lot of textiles. We have an awful lot of textiles. In fact, all of that is, uh, all of that's ready to be picked. All the cotton over there is ready to be picked, but we've got nowhere to put it. How about, hang on, oh, we've got no wood. <laughs> I was gonna say, we need some wood. I was gonna build a, um, a storage thing. I thought perhaps we could build a nice new storage thing up on the uh, sort of top floor here, get ourselves some more textile storage. But uh, yeah, of course we can't because we have no wood at all. Can somebody go and chop down a tree? That would be handy. Um, hang on a minute, Rosalind, that's normally your job. What are you doing? Oh, you're doing some research. I mean, that is good. That is good. And we do want you to do research, but also I wouldn't mind it if you did go and chop down some trees. So you go and cut this tree down, please. There we go. Oh, your stamina is very low. 
Okay, maybe when you've cut this tree down, you will then go to bed. I'd like to think you would. 20 wood, there we go. And then, are you going to go to bed? I don't want you to, you know, collapse. Okay, Rosalind, you're doing that weird thing where you're just going to keep chopping a tree down until you collapse. Go to bed. No, Rosalind, go to bed. <laughs> what are you doing trying to do some research? There's your bed. Go and have a nice sleep. Good night. Right, I've got 40 wood. That means we should be able to build ourselves another textile storage. So where are they? Is that it? Textile stockpile, 25 wood. Okay, where can we put this? I mean, we can put this kind of up against the up against the walls along here, possibly. Because again, we don't need to come up here. So let's pop that just there. That'll give us a little bit more textiles. And then I think what we do is, let's just get Horst. Let's see if he can redeem himself a little bit. Let's get Horst to just make lots of things. Let's not get Horst to do that because we're being attacked by goblins. Goblins, hold on a second, please. Please hold the line. We'll come to you in a second. Um, okay, right. Let's make some things. So let's make some master clothes. How about stuff that only requires cloth? So master forester's clothes make... 60. Yeah, make two lots of those, please. Make two lots of Master Forester's clothes. 120 cloth. And then, yeah, we'll hopefully be able to get a bit more storage and make more of these things. But they're nice tradable things. Nice, easy, tradable commodity. Okay, right. We're being attacked by goblins. Um, I didn't actually see where they were coming from. Hang on a minute. Ah, they're coming from here. So are they going to get stuck in the trees again? Because that is very handy. I did notice Rosalind is over there chopping down a tree. Rosalind, can you come in here? Because if the goblins don't get stuck, which, I don't know, let's see what they're going to do. Are they going to stop and have a little look at the, uh, a little look at the, yeah, the trees and the floor and the fauna? No, they're not. They are actually coming to attack us. Okay, right. Combat mode, everybody. Battle stations. Okay, so let's see. Everyone's going to run off and get all their armor and weapons and all that kind of stuff. The goblins are going to turn up. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Wolfgang. Wolfgang, Wolfgang, Wolfgang. Come back here, Wolfgang. I realise you're new and you want to make an impression, but we have told you combat mode. And it says there in combat mode, your colonists will put on their combat equipment and stop working on their jobs. Wolfgang has not put on his combat equipment and he's not picked up his bow. So uh, Wolfgang, if you could just go away again. Why, why are people... <laughs> right, okay, hang on a minute. Who is actually... I think everybody is... Everybody's ready except Wolfgang. Right, let's come out here. And, I mean, Antonia has just ran out on her own, which seems ill-advised. She's not taking too much damage, though. The other goblins are trying to work their way through the wall. So they've not come to join in the fighting. Okay, this is all fine. It looks like these two are just going to go and deal with it. <laughs> are they just going to deal with it? Antonia and Horst. The, I mean, are they husband and wife? I'm not entirely sure. Whatever, the partnership are now dealing with with the goblins, and there we go. Oh, and Horst is a level three soldier. Oh, well, that worked out very nicely indeed. Um, what would we like Horst to be able to have? Metal swords could be useful eventually. I'm thinking we save up for medium armor. That would be useful. Yeah, we'll keep the point, but well done, Horst. That's very impressive. Okay, everybody out of combat mode. It's all sorted. It's all fine, everybody. Um, right, as you were. Right, so Wolfgang, go back in and put on your farmer's things and go back and do some farming, please. And the goblins will just, you know, they'll wake up and then trudge home again, feeling very silly that they've tried to attack us for the umpteenth time and it has miserably, miserably failed. Um, Antonia is a little bit injured. Not overly happy with that. Um, Antonia, how are you for hunger and such like? How about, let's monitor you here. Can you sleep until you are completely healthy, please? Sleep until you are healthy. Now, what is this doing? Resting in bed, your health is going up. I'm just looking at your hunger. I don't want you to start starving to death because that would be all sorts of terrible. I think you should be okay. Your mood's going up because you've had a nice rest. I imagine you win a fight, you got paid. It's all very nice. Your hunger is, is getting a little bit low. Yeah, but I don't think we're going to be able to get you fully sorted. Do you know what? It's fine. Eat some kitchen food. That's not bad. That health is okay. And that should sort your hunger out. Right, and then, yep, you can carry on doing whatever it was you were doing. I see Horst is over here doing his crafting. Rosalind is doing a bit of the research. This is all very good. I mean, could we get... Could we get... I realise Dr. Pete is um 
is part, he's set to cut down trees, isn't he? He's a forester and a doctor. I mean, what is he spending his time doing? What is Dr. Pete up to these days? Where are you going, Dr. Pete? You're producing medicine. Yeah, now we've got we've got quite a lot of storage for this. We've got quite a lot of storage for medicine stuff. So we might just be making an awful lot of that for a very, very long time. Oh, little chap, not impressed. Whatever that was, it did not work at all. Don't interrupt Dr. Pete while he's doing medical things. He's doing very important doctoring work. And there goes horse, back making the yeah, back making the clothes again. Okay, right. This is all fine. It's all fine. I was kind of hoping that maybe we could get more people in on the research because we only have two. What are they doing? Oh, okay. That went better. That went better. Are you telling a joke or something? You're telling a risky joke. Okay. And it worked. And now they're having a chat. Okay. This is interesting. Oh, and they've become great friends. Oh, that's very good. Well done, you two. There you go. Friends will be there for you when the rain starts to fall and all that kind of stuff. So well done. It's good that you've got friends. Splendid stuff. Okay, summer has ended and fall has begun. So quite a few of our plants will have died. But no, it's okay. I think we lost possibly, what are they? A few tomatoes. What's that? Five tomato plants, possibly. They didn't get out in time, but that's fine. That is not a problem at all. And then we've got the farming squad over here doing lots of good work over on the farm. Got loads of wheat going on. Now, if you could plant lots of pumpkins, please. We put lots of pumpkins in for a reason because these are really handy. We can make pumpkin stew and that's a nice source of food and we can make beer out of these and all that kind of stuff. So they're very good things. Annika is now a level four farmer. Well done. This is all going very well. Right, okay, level four farmer. What do we want you to do? Do we want you to sow wheat or do we want you to cook at the campfire? It might be quite useful if you could sow wheat. That would be very useful indeed. So, okay, you sow some wheat, please, because I think probably only Hannah can do that. I don't imagine Wolfgang can do that yet. What can you do? You can cook at the campfire. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So Hannah, just there, she, no, where, who was it? Hang on, no, farmer, that's what we want. Um, yeah, so, oh no, it was Annika, wasn't it? Annika can now sow the strawberries and sow the wheat, and Wolfgang can, he can cook at the campfire. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So we've not got one person with, you know, one of those low-level skills. There's at least a couple of people. Splendid stuff. Good job. Oh, no, I just heard a sad noise. Just heard a sad noise. Oh, it must be one of the animals. I assume one of the animals has died, which is a bit sad. Relationship nemesis? What? Who is a nemesis? Oh, dear. Hannah and Antonia really, really don't like each other. They are nemesis, nemesis. I don't know what the fancy plural of that is. They are nemesises. Oh dear. That is, that's not good. I do not want discord and disharmony in our, in our little settlement. I want everybody to get on and be friends and all that sort of stuff. Oh, that's very unfortunate. We have got 70 beer. What if we threw a party? I mean, it won't help those two out. I just thought maybe people would like a party. Who would like a party? Is anybody interested in a party? Horst is. He loves a party, does Horst. Look at him. Look in his eyes. Um, right, so he wants a party. And Antonia wants a party. Okay. And Pete's not bothered. Rosalind's not bothered. Hannah's not bothered. Annika's not bothered. But Wolfgang would like one. Okay, so three people would like a party. Okay, we can do. We've got 100 coins. We've got 42 food. And we have 42 beer. Um... Do you know what? Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Let us have a party. Let's just throw a bit of a party. Everybody come over here. Have some beer, everybody. It's all lovely. So yeah, do we need to tell people? Oh, Wolfgang's straight in. Wolfgang is straight in. Him and Dr. P. Oh, brilliant. It, it's going well. Oh no, Wolfgang has stood in the way of the beer keg thing. So Dr. P. could not get in. He couldn't actually get in. Yeah, Dr. P. Go and drink some beer. I, I demand it. There you go, Dr. Pete. Go and have a bit of a drink. Annika's doing a, an exciting sort of jig. She's doing a jaunty jig out near the dining table. Is everybody else partying? Wolfgang. Wolfgang has partied so hard, he's had to go to bed. You lightweight Wolfgang. You only had one. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, you're partying. You're... What are you doing? You're... Oh. Um, hang on. No. Who was it that you didn't like? It was... Yeah, Anton... Oh, no. Antonia's making quite a few enemies. Antonia is not getting on with very many people. Oh, dearie me. Yeah, that's not good. Right, okay. But you can just have a fight. Right, Antonia, go and drink beer. 
You're that desperate. Go and have a little drink of beer. It's all fine. Where is Horst? Horst is just sort of sitting down. Um, Horst, there's a party going on. You wanted a party. You wanted a party. There you go. Enjoying the party. Okay, fine. So hopefully, when this ticks down, Wolfgang, Antonia and Horst should get some different wishes. And those should be met. And that is quite big. That is quite big. Getting 100 points is no small thing. And it's done that weird thing again where it didn't seem to count. Okay, it worked for Antonia. It worked for Antonia. And that was it. But Wolfgang definitely had... He was doing a jig and he came over and had beer. So I don't really know why that didn't work for Wolfgang. So the only person that that whole party applied to was Antonia. Brilliant. Well, I'm glad that was worth the effort then. I don't know what's going on there. I'm not entirely sure what's going on. Do you know what we do need to look at? I've just seen this. Of course, we need to see if those two, if Horst and Antonia can you know, write a very nice, very eloquent, very well written, you know, good grammar, good words, write a lovely letter to the stork and then see if we can get some children. Because that would be very good indeed. Let's have a look on here. Right, what do we need to do? Once the relationship bar is maxed out and the expectations in the village are fulfilled, the couple will think about having children. Okay, so Annika's expectations are not being met and Wolfgang's are not. And that's not at the top. Okay, right, what we'll do is go and have a chat. You go and have a talk with Antonia. Let's see if we can get that relationship meter up. And I'd like to think that they should actually be able to get on. There we go. So is that going to tick up a bit? Okay, um, how about... A nice hug. How about a hug? And that didn't make that go up at all. Okay, how about another talk? There you go. I mean, there's work to be done, everybody, but it's fine. You just keep chatting. It's all good. And is that going to go up any more? It went up a little bit. Um, how about how about another another hug? Let's see if a hug now does this. Is that going to push it over the limit? No. No, it's not. But even if that was at the top... We still need Annika and her expectations to be met. Right, she needs more of these things here. And Dr. Pete's broken his leg. What were you doing, Dr. Pete? Oh, hang on a minute. Dr. Pete, are you able to... <laughs> you can splint your own leg, Dr. Pete. I shouldn't have to tell you to do this. You're the doctor. Self-diagnose, my good sir. There you go. You splinted your own leg. Um, oh, you're just going to be sort of sat there for a bit, feeling a bit hurty. Okay. That's fine. You're recovering a bit, Dr. P. It's fine. You'll be okay. You'll muddle through. Right, here we go. Cotton coming through. We've got extra uh, textile storage now, which is wonderful. Right, yeah, so let's try. You want a fireplace in your house and a trader has arrived. Okay, Dr. P, you're normally the go-to guy for trading. How's your leg? Ah, good. There we go. You're back up and running. You're not over there anymore. The traders are over here now. They come over to the beacon thingy. Um... Yeah, go over here. Have a chat with you. There we go. On all the crops. Yeah, you could talk somewhere else, but whatever. It's fine. And then have a nice chat. Relations have improved. Right, and then go and trade. Hopefully you want to buy loads of pirate things. Because we have got a lot of pirate stuff. Ah, yeah. Pirate captain suit. Pirate captain's cutlass. Right, get rid of those. And get rid of the pirate captain's suit. So that's two of those gone. Two of those gone. And then we've got the Foresters clothes. Get rid of those. Okay, so that would give us 2,000 coins. We can't store that, but of course we do want to buy some stuff. So, scrolls. Scrolls, scrolls, scrolls. They don't have scrolls. They always have scrolls. The traders always have scrolls. Why have you not got scrolls, traders? This is this is not good enough at all, is it? This is, this is a poor show. Um, Okay, we won't sell... One of the Master Foresters clothes, and we're just going to make a big pile of money because we don't need to buy anything from them anymore, apart from scrolls, because we can't get them ourselves. We can't make them or whatever. Um, oh, Bartha, that is a bit annoying. And we've got loads of pirate clothes as well. In fact, can we just sort of try and maximise that a bit? Um, yeah, there we go. Sell two pirate captain suits, two pirate captain cutlasses, one. Do you know what? Let's keep the Master Foresters clothes. Let's just try and get rid of. Some of those things. There we go. So two pirate cutlasses, one lot of pirate clothes gone. Um, yeah, okay. Confirm that trade. That's very disappointing because we're out of scrolls. We're completely out of scrolls. We can't do our research. 
this is not good at all. This is not good in any way. Hang on a minute. Hang on. How about uh, storage? How much is one of those? So 30 iron ore. Okay, Antonia, where are you? What are you doing? You're enjoying the fire. Uh, <laughs> are you sure, Antonia? Are you sure you're enjoying the fire? And you're going to go and enjoy the fire. Right. Your your mood is... Oh my goodness me, you're completely delighted at the world. I think what we should do is, let's get you to grab some iron ore. Oh, you're going to need some food. I thought if we could get some iron ore very quickly... In fact, is the trader selling iron ore? Hang on, I didn't see. I didn't check. Trader, are you selling... Oh, hang on, Hannah's right there. Um, Are you selling iron ore? Because that would be... That would be useful. No, you are not. No oh, bother. I'm thinking what we could do is get some iron ore and then build another safe and then sell some more stuff and have a lot more money next time for when the next traders come around and we can buy loads of scrolls. That was what I was thinking, but I don't think it's going to work because I don't think we're going to have enough iron ore to do that. Never mind. That's a great big pile of money anyway. That's not too shabby. And there we go. Pumpkins are going in. Finally. Thank goodness for that. These are important. We're about, what, a quarter of the way through the season already? So if you could, you know, chop chop with these, because they're good. They're really important. We need them to make lots of stew and beer and all the good stuff. So, yeah, get them in, please. Potatoes as well. Wheat, not so bothered. How much wheat have we got? 74. Oh, actually, we do need some, we do need some wheat. We've got quite a lot of raw meat. What has been going on? And where are we putting the raw meat? <laughs> We haven't got a fridge. I don't know where the raw meat's going. Okay, never mind. We won't even ask that. Let's not think about that. Ah, yes. This is what we were doing before the trader arrived. So we were trying to make sure that Annika and Wolfgang's expectations were being met. So uh, can you stop interrupting goblins? Honourable warriors. They would like six apples and 27 wood. Do you know what? Yes. This is a reasonable, reasonable request. You're not asking for everything we've got. So yeah, of course. There you go. They still hate us. They still really, really hate us, but the haters just a tiny, tiny bit less, which I suppose is good. Okay, right. Hang on a minute. Right. Let's pause the game. So we're trying to figure out what they want to actually make sure that they've got their expectations met. So they want, Hannah here wants, not Hannah, Annika, sorry. They're, they're very similar. Um, Annika would like more life satisfaction. So she needs this ticking up. So she wants a fireplace and a chair. Very extravagant indeed. I mean, your house, I will be honest, is a little bit bare. So let us get you a fireplace and a chair. I mean, the fireplaces are really good. They're really good. I like the actual model for these. We'll tuck the fireplace. Let's put that there. And then if we go for seating, we can have a very comfortable advanced wooden chair. You know, it's advanced. It's got lovely lumbar support and stuff. Um, put that Maybe put that there. So it's kind of in front of the fire. So you could sit there in front of the fireplace and you will feel all warm and toasty. And then Wolfgang here wants to throw a party, which we just did, Wolfgang. I don't know if you noticed. But also, you would like an armchair. Okay, they're going to require textiles. But I think we can get that working. No, we need 25 wood. Which is somewhat unfortunate because Rosalind is uh, currently doing research. Rosalind... There's a tree here you need to cut down. Why is she focusing on research now rather than cutting down trees? Because I'm pretty sure that she should be, you know, Forester first and a researchy person second. Yeah, Forester three and then Scholar of two. So why, why do you keep going to do scholaring before foresting? I don't really know. Okay, well, there you go. She's, she's doing tree stuff now. Right, so with Wolfgang, let us get you... A comfortable you've already got you've already got like a sofa kind of couch thing you want a chair as well oh my goodness me okay there you go a comfy armchair we'll pop that there let's put that there I mean, it's a bit rude if somebody's sitting here then the other person sort of turn around the corner do you know what can we move that put that there there we go right build that and boom wolfgang's still not quite up there he wants a big shelf or a wardrobe. And now the pirates have come by. Hey, pirates, how are you? Nice to see you again. It's Captain Viola, Viola's pirates. Yeah, again, change of leadership at Pirate Command. Um, okay, 22 illness medicine. That's 
that's okay. That is okay. So yeah, they don't like us because, yeah, they, we killed one of their people. Yeah, just the one. And we fought. Yep. Yeah, I mean, you do keep attacking us. That would be why we're fighting, Pirate Face. And a long time nemesis. Spelled incorrectly, but never mind. We'll let it slide. Um, Five days to deliver. I mean, it's only 22 illness medicine. We've got 33 right now. And Dr. Pete can make a lot more. We have got ourselves 39 sort of healing plant things in reserve. I think we just say yes. Just to avoid the conflict. Let's just say, of course, yeah, why not? It's all fine. Hopefully they will like us a bit more when we actually deliver that stuff. Right, okay. And Wolfgang... Ah! Wolfgang is satisfied with life. Oh, okay. Everybody's expectations are now met in the colony. Right, do we want to do anything with the reward points? Because Horst has got two reward points. What would you like from these, Horst? What would you like? I mean, do you want to lose anything? You don't need to lose anything. Your skills are... Yeah, so your traits are pretty good. So do we want you to actually gain anything? I mean, Optimist would be good. Optimist is really good. That's a permanent mood boost. That would be really handy. Okay, we'll keep that. Antonia, you've got two as well. Um, xenophobe. That would be good to get rid of, wouldn't it? It would be good to get rid of that. But that's four points. Uh, you've got tireless. Okay, so nothing to do with you. Uh, Dr. Pete, you've only got one. Uh, we don't need to lose anything. I suppose you could lose lactose intolerant. You could lose that, but there's plenty of other food stuff. That just means you can't eat cheese. And that's it. There's plenty of other food things. So maybe that's not so important either. So we could save your points. Um, and we could easily get those sorted for Dr. P. Rosalind, you've got one point as well. You're also lactose intolerant. Okay, we'll save that point. Can't do anything there. Hannah has zero. Annika has one. And Wolfgang. Wolfgang does have two. Now, here's the thing. Do we give you tireless? And then you can sleep even less. I mean, you've already got the magic bed. So you hardly sleep at all. Or do we want to save up and get rid of killer? I kind of think... I mean, tireless is very good. Do you know what? You can have tireless. There we go, Wolfgang. You become a bit tireless now, so you can sleep even less and become even more productive. There we go. And then, yeah, some of the other ones we will just keep. I mean, if we could start just trying to work through a few of these, that would be really good. However, have a child. Okay, Horst, when you finish doing that, yeah, everyone's really good at their jobs. It's all splendid. When you finish doing this... So sort that out, and boom, well done. You've looked in a book at a crystal or something. I don't know how that works. Right, where is Antonia? Antonia is all the way over there gathering research crystals. Antonia, there's crystals in the mine that's outside the back of your house. <laughs> that's why we put it there, so you didn't have to journey quite so far afield. Um, okay, Antonia, go and have a chat with Horst, please. Go and talk. And let's just see if that ticks up to the top. Because if that does go up to the top, everybody's expectations are met and that bar is full. The relationship bar might well max out. Please max out. Okay, right. It's maxed out. So it says there, the uh, couple will think about having children. Now, the only thing is, you're going to have to think pretty quickly because yeah, you're not, you're not getting any younger. You're not spring chickens anymore, Horst and Antonio. You're in your sort of your twilight years, if you like. Now, there is something that we could do about this. There is something we could do. We do have ourselves one elixir of life thingamajig. And we could, we could get another. We could get another for Horst and Antonia. Because Horst is going to, he's going to die in 16.7 days. That's not very long at all. And Antonia is going to die in 12 days. And Dr. Pete, 32 days. Rosalind, 48 days. But of course, yeah, Horst and Antonio have been around the longest. So yeah, we need to eke their lives out a little bit longer. So I think what we might need to do is, where is Dr. Pete? Dr. Pete, he's only just started working on that, so that's fine. So how about we come over here and we do some trading with our goblin friends. Antonio just strolls right through the middle. It's a good job these guys are the ones we get on with. That's good. Oh, okay. That was quick. <laughs> right. A child has been born. Horst Mozart and Antonio Schaefer have got a daughter. Overjoyed, they are thinking about a name for the child. 
What should their daughter be called? Oh, oh, what? We can, we can name the child. We can name the child. Oh my goodness me. I mean, I mean, yeah, do we go for, I mean, Mozart and Schaefer are both good names. I mean, they've gone for Antonia's surname. Um, okay, let's keep the surname. Let's keep the surname, because we don't see the surnames on here anyway. Um, okay, here we go then. We know what we're going to call her. We're going to call her Betty, because Betty crops up in all sorts of geek cupboard things. So, Betty Schaefer. There we go. Welcome, Betty. Um, okay, hang on. Now we're trading. Hang on a minute. Hang on a second. Betty's there. Antonio just had a child whilst walking to do some iron ore mining. <laughs> wow, Antonio, that's... <laughs> that is, that's very resourceful of you. Okay, so now we have ourselves Betty. Hello, Betty. This is wonderful. So you have some wishes. You want to play, whoa. Okay, one of Betty's wishes is throw a party. I get that. You're a kid. Parties are fun. You get party bags and cake and it's all brilliant and it's all good. And so yeah, I get that. Have a place store weapons in your possession. Um... Okay, I suppose we could I suppose we could furnish you with a place where you can have weapons. I think maybe maybe we need to make her a little room because she's going to live with her parents for a bit. Of course, and maybe we move her in over here. This is very exciting. Okay, okay. No, we need to do a little bit of a little bit of um redecoration around here, but this is all good. Right, that Mason's workshop. I've already got one over there. I don't quite know why we built another one. That was a bit silly, wasn't it? Because, um, yeah, we could have just moved that one that was over there. Would anybody else like a mason's workshop in their house? Do you know what? There's a gap for it round there for now. It seems a shame to get rid of it now we've got it. Okay, move this thing to there. Move that chest to there. Okay, this is all good. I mean, Betty, would you like to come and do this? No, you're not going to do that. That's unfortunate. Okay, so somebody needs to come over and work on this. Oh, hang on. What else can Betty do? Hang on. Betty's got no health problems. She's got no personality yet. She's got no traits and stuff yet. That's fine. You seem to get on with everybody. And yeah, you've got no possessions or anything. Okay. And you have a childhood experiences bar and an education bar. Okay. I kind of feel like we need to look into these. Being in a good or bad mood slowly earns positive or negative childhood happiness points. Depending on what points are collected, the child will gain positive and negative traits on their birthday. Oh, we want them to be in a good mood. So they pick up good traits. And then education. Every child can learn life skills at the bookshelf. On their birthday, they can use these points to get a great head start in any profession. If the education is stopped before a topic is fully understood and a point is earned, the progress will slowly be forgotten. Okay. Right, so we need to get you. There is a child bookshelf thing, isn't there? So we need to get that in as well, I suspect. Okay, this is interesting. This is interesting. They go horsed. Is that the first time you've laid eyes on your daughter? She was born over there <laughs> in a wood, which is a bit weird. Um, right, horsed. Come over here and move some things about, please. Come over here and just, you know, shifty some things around. Or are you just going to go to bed or whatever? Okay, you've taken those things apart and that. And now you're having some food. And then I imagine you're going to go to bed. Okay, Rosalind, you need to go to bed as well. Antonia, you need to go to bed as well. Can somebody move the furniture around? We need to create a room for a child. It's very important. Right, okay, that can just move to just there. And now we can build a little room just here. This is very good. Okay, I mean, what have we got on the internal wall just there? I think it's that one, isn't it? That is the walls we've got. So bring that across like that and that over like that. Then, of course, we need a door. So how about we have um, just a modern door? A modern door. And it can go opposite mum and dad's. There we go. It can go opposite there. And then we need different flooring in here. That's that's boring flooring. That's very dull. I mean, which one do we go for? Do we go for the happy circles or the calm night? I quite like... Well, they've really got, no, they've got happy circles in their room. So how about we have calm night over here? That will be lovely. So there we go. Lovely stuff. And now we just get ourselves a bed. If we can find a bed. Um, hang on, where was it? In life. There it is. A child's bed. Yes. With a small ladder and extra drawers for toys, this bed was designed for kids. 
because of strong supports, it can withstand more than 1,000 jumps on the bed during its lifetime, then it will break. It will break game because children jump up and down on the bed. No matter what you tell them, it happens. It is inevitable. Right, okay. So a child's bed. This is very good. Oh, there is there's a little ladder. We'll put it in the corner so that we can see the little ladder thing. That's a drawer there and everything. Okay, right. So we've got that in. So now we need to find where the, um, where is that kind of kids learning bookshelf thing? Where is it? I'm not entirely sure where it is. Um, is it under work, possibly? Large bookshelf. There. Bookshelf for children. Yes. We need one of these. Right. Pop that just there. Oh, this is wonderful. Okay. So we now have ourselves a little room set up for Betty. I don't know where Betty is right now. Betty... <laughs> Betty is not happy because she slept on the ground. I mean, really, Antonia and Horse, I kind of feel like you should be making a bit more of an effort with this, if I'm being completely brutally honest. But it, it's fine. Don't worry, I'll just I'll just look after dear Betty here. You just ignore her and make her sleep on the ground near the dining table. Um, children of the forest are our friends. 26 stone and 4 iron ore. Yeah, that's fine. We like you guys. You keep us safe. You make sure we can go out and do stuff. So that's all good. Right, Horst. Horst. Can you just get on with this stuff? This is your house. You should be doing some of the work over here. Annika's come in and she's doing the work. So here we go. Flooring is going in first. I and mean, if you could put the bed in, that means Betty could be assigned a bed, which is probably a very good thing. Do you want to build the bed, Annika? No, no bed being constructed. People are coming along. Pirates are coming. Oh, we, we can't clear that. Okay, here we go. Right, I like how it's not the parents that are doing the work, it's fine. Peter is now a level 9 forester. I'm a bit confused as to why we're so... Hang on. Hang on. Where are... Where are you guys? Hang on, where are we? <laughs> we're over there. Okay, right, no, these guys are fine. These are these are our friends. I thought they were miles away from, from our little village. Oh my goodness me. Yeah, I don't quite know why you're over here. What's the maximum crystals we can hold? We can hold 100 crystals. Dr. Pete, I mean, there's illness medicine and healing potions to make. Why are you over here chopping down trees? I mean, it's okay. There's quite a lot of trees over here you could chop down. If you want to chop down trees, cut down those ones. We've not got only cut designated trees on, so you should be able to go anywhere you like. How about we put that on? Only cut designated trees and have those trees. There you go. You can cut down those trees, please. You are now designated to only cut down those ones, because otherwise it's going to be complicated. Right, you can grab those crystals. That's all good. Ah, yes. So let's level you up to get the master outfit, which you're never going to wear, because we always want you to have your doctoring thing on. So there we go. <laughs> Splendid. That was well worth doing. Right, here we go. The kid's bed is in. So Betty, that is your bed. This is very good. Right, you're envious of horse's room. <laughs> you're envious of your dad's room. Okay, so we need to put some things in here, some decor. Um, how about then? Uh, how about one of these things? Everyone likes these weird, random sort of big jug things. You can have a big jug thing. And then, how about in storage? Yeah, there's a thing here, look. Natural wooden shelf. Have that. Kids need shelving. They have loads of stuff. So put a thing there. Put it behind the door. So you come in, grab something possibly, and then just sort of go again. There we go. Because, yeah, at the minute, she's, she's grumpy. She's grumpy. She slept on the ground and had a bad conversation. It's not looking good. Do you know what, though? A place to store weapons. Um, I mean, okay. <laughs> we'll give this child a weapon storage. Seems slightly weird, but okay. So have one of those. And also, I imagine you're going to want an armor stand at some point. So we'll preemptively put that in. And then a clothing stand as well, possibly. Um, yeah, let's put Joel, let's put that there. Put it next to the kind of the jug thing. There we go. And then we can get those sorted for you. Oh, this is very exciting though. We have, we've got a child. We've got Betty the child. This is all very wonderful. Right, why are you two a bit sad? Oh, because Wolfgang and Annika are both feeling a bit lonely. I mean, I can think of a solution for that, you two. I mean, you know, if you're both feeling a bit lonely, why not just go and you know, hang out together and you know, have a chat and stuff? That would work. 
Right, how are we doing? Have we built anything? Oh, finally, Horst is actually doing some work for his own child. Well done, Horst. And these things are going back in. Okay, are you jealous anymore? No, you are not. Okay, right, Betty, can we learn some life skills? Can we do that? Can we learn life skills? Oh, also, hang on. Take ownership of that, because that will get you a wish. There we go. Wish fulfilled. That's good. Get a large bookshelf in your house. Okay, right. Learn life skills. So this is going to get education points ticking up. Okay, right. Childhood experiences, however, are decreasing because she had to sleep on the floor. When does she become you know, old? 28.8 days. She's going to grow up. Okay, that's a little while. That's a little while. Okay, well, you read that book. It's fine. You have a little, a little look through your, your wonderful books over here. It's all good. Oh, no, and you're sad. You're tired of studying. No, I don't want to study anymore. Why do I have to learn this? I'm never going to need to know this for sure. It's a fair point, isn't it? It's a fair point. Um, Okay, just go to sleep then if you want. Have a little sleep. There you go. Good night, Betty. You're a bit weary. I'm sure mum and dad will come in at some point and, you know, sing you a lullaby or something. Mum and dad. Hint, hint. Okay, it is the last day of autumn or fall, whatever you want to call it. Some of the pumpkins are growing. This is good to see. In fact, lots of them are popping up. So we need to make sure before it becomes winter and everything freezes over and everything dies, we need to make sure we get all of these things from here. Because I don't think we have any. We've got no pumpkins at all. And they're really useful. They're very good for making lots of pumpkin stews and beer and all that kind of stuff. Also, potatoes would be useful. We have got quite a lot of raw meat. And we can combine that with... Hang on a minute, goblins. We can combine that with the um, the raw meat and potatoes to make meat stew or whatever it is. So we could do with some more potatoes as well. But it looks like we might have, might have just harvested all of those. Okay, fat family. 22 beer, 20 wood. You know what? Because because I'm in a good mood, because, you know, we've got a child in the colony and it's all a lovely time and we want to avoid combat now because we don't want Betty to get hurt. Of course, yeah, there you go. It's fine. They still hate us, but not quite as much. So, yeah, these still need to grow a bit. I see you're grabbing healing plants. That is also good. Right, hang on a second. Can you... Yeah, harvest pumpkins. Wolfgang, over here, harvest pumpkins. Oh, four. We get four from each one of these. This is brilliant. That might be three. It looks a little bit smaller. No, that's four as well. Oh, Wolfgang, this is Brint. Six came out of that, and Betty just came over to say hello. Betty's having a chat with Dad. Yep, yeah, this is all good. And look at that. Childhood experiences are going up ludicrously. Wow, that is very, very good. However, education has come back down. Hang on. Why has that come back down? Um... Oh, yes. If the education is stopped before a topic is fully understood and a point is earned, the progress will slowly be forgotten. So whatever she did actually learn has now gone back out of her head. OK, do you know what? Never mind. Never mind, Betty. That happens to me too, particularly if it involves numbers. Let's try and play fairy godmother, shall we? Let's see if we can grant people lots of wishes. So what do people want? Horst would like a large bookshelf in his house, but I think Betty also wants a large bookshelf in her house. And fortunately, they live in the same house. So that's quite good. So a large bookshelf. Uh, okay, that's under work, is it? Yeah, this is where you learn the skills. Okay, yes, you can have one of these. I'm not entirely sure where it's going to go. It might have to go by the door. Let's put it by the front door. Okay, so we can go just there. Okay, Betty's having a chat with Dad. Hang on a minute, have a little chat. There we go. Right, Horst, when you're done, I want you to come over here and work on this. So build this, because this is good for you, for your wishes, and your daughters as well. So there we go. And now you'd like an armchair in your house. And Betty wants strong watchtowers to be discovered. I mean, you don't look that old, and you're already wondering about you know, the defence of the village, but okay, I suppose that's, I suppose that's good. It's all fine. Um, right. So Horst has had one wish done. Antonia. You want to watch Tower and you want to reach a relationship of dislike with Annika. Do you know what? No, I'm going to deny that wish, Antonia. It will upset you a bit, but we're going to deny that wish because that is terrible. We don't want you to be falling out with people. Reach level 29 as a minor. Okay, right. Pete wants a shelf for food from the kitchen and a vase thingamajig. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Pete, that's absolutely fine. Don't you worry. We are absolutely on it. Right, okay. Decoration. Um, You can have, actually, have a green one of those. Why not? You've already 
Hang on, you've already got one. You've already got one of those things. You've already got one in your house, Dr. Pete. Yep. Um, Getavar's in his... In his room? You, there's one there, Pete. Just move it yourself. Oh, my goodness me. <laughs> really? Okay, you can have a red one in the corner just there, Dr. Pete. And then a shelf for food from the kitchen in your house. Do you not have one of those? No, you do not. Okay, uh, we'll put it there. It can go It can go next to your chair. So if you're a bit peckish, you can just lean round and grab whatever it is you want. Okay, so that'll sort you out. Rosalind would like a table and a dresser, both in her house. Okay, that seems reasonable. That seems fair. So a dresser. Um, how about we get a nice one? A natural wooden dresser. Let's put that... Put that there. Put it there. But actually point it the right way might help. But there you go. That's blocked by something. Is it? Oh, okay. We'll put it between the windows. It's fine. And then you wanted a table, was it? Just any table. Okay. Not picky. Not picky. That's all good. Tables. Okay. Let's have... Ah. We're a bit short of wood. Um, How about a beer table? The perfect place to enjoy a cold, smooth beer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can have a nice beer table. Um, let's put it sort of in the middle. There we go. So I should sort that out. Hannah would like to become a friend and get a vase in her room. Okay. Hannah is... Where does... Where's Hannah live? Over here. So let's get ourselves one of those things. Let's put a blue one into here because why not? Okay, that's fine. Annika. Level five to farmer and an armchair. Okay. Where is... Is it in your room or in your house? In your house. Okay, I mean, we've given you a chair. You want an armchair as well. How extravagant. Uh, okay, seating. And we haven't got enough wood. Bother. Okay, and Wolfgang wants, you yeah, know, wants a party and a big shelf for a wardrobe. And Betty wants, Betty also wants a party still. Should we just throw a party? Can we do that? We've not got 48 beer in stock. Oh, did we get the pumpkins? Oh, I completely forgot. Oh, we got most of them. Three pumpkins might have been left to go mouldy. But how many did we get in? 100 pumpkins. Okay, that is good. Now we need the farming people to come and sort out the dead things on the farm. Wheat. We've got 130 wheat as well. Got loads of potatoes. We should be able to make an awful lot of food. So that's good. Lots of wishes are being granted. This is all very good. Wood is decreasing, unfortunately. So yeah, if we could go and chop down some more trees, Rosalind, looking at you. Yes, there we go. Good job. Right. Um, yeah, let's try and get a chair in Annika's house. Over here, go to here, go to seating, get a comfy armchair and pop that uh, by the door. There we go. So I can go just there. Uh, yeah, and Wolfgang wants a big shelf or a wardrobe in his house. Okay, let's get you a big shelf. Why not? Um, advanced wooden shelf. Hang on. Is that different to a big shelf? I think it might... Yeah, that's that's okay, isn't it? An advanced wooden shelf. Let's have that one. Drawers and a bit at the top. And we'll pop that there. So that should sort that out. Okay. There we go. Lots of wishes being granted, which is good. That gets people's moods up and such like. How is Betty doing? Betty is making a snowman. Of course you are. It's the best thing to do. Are you going to make it properly? You have made it properly. You've built a snowman. I even enjoyed the fire. That's nice. You've come in and you're now sitting in. I mean, you're sitting in Dr. Pete's house. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure everybody gets on with you, Betty. In fact, Betty, what we're going to do is we're going to send you to bed. So you go to sleep. I know, I know you don't want to go to bed. I want to stay awake and all that kind of stuff. But no, you need to go to sleep, Betty. It's your bedtime. Off to bed with you. Right, so you pop into bed. Right, low spirits. Who is in low spirits? I think Antonia is in low spirits. A wish denied on a bad dream. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate, isn't it? The wish denied thing is actually quite bad. But it was a horrible, it was a horrible wish. It wasn't very nice at all. I mean, do we want to get a watchtower? Do we want to build one of those? A watchtower. Send your archers at this tower to give them a safe position to shoot from. It's 100 wood. I would rather get the strong watchtower, if anything. And it is 100 wood that we don't have. Okay, maybe we'll have to... We'll come back and think about that. We will think about that. 
unless she has a big mood first and then goes off in a strop, in which case we won't be able to do anything about it at all. In fact, do you know what? We have got 100 wood now. Now, where can we... I mean, do we want to put this on the outside? Hang on, how do we get in? There's a little... There's a ladder. Okay, so there's a ladder, and then the archers climb up to the top, do they? Okay. I mean, where do we want to put this? Where's going to be useful? I was kind of thinking we could see over the top and fire at the goblins, but I'm not entirely sure that will work, will it? Maybe it will. Do you know what? Let's put one there. Let's build ourselves a watchtower. And Antonia, seeing as you're so grumpy about not having one of these, you can go forth and build this. Come along here and build this before your mood is so terrible that you go off in a strop. But it's already laid out. The wood's already been provided for. Low spirits and boom, spirits back up because your wish has been fulfilled. Okay, and what's your next wish? 29 is a minor and an armchair in your house. Okay, we can probably do that. You might already have, oh, you've got a sofa in your house. Everyone's being very picky. <laughs> Everyone is being very, very picky. Okay, um, there is... Uh, there is an armchair. I mean, where can we put this? Let's just put it there. That'll do. Let's put it next to the fireplace. There you go. If you're particularly cold, you can sit just there in the lovely armchair. And the chair is built, and Antonia is now a level 29 miner. I think that was one of her other wishes, wasn't it? Yeah, there we go. Right, so she's really happy, and she has three reward points. Do we give her the optimist skill? I think that might be quite good. That might be very good indeed. Because, yeah, that makes it just a little bit happier. So, yeah, let's do that. So, confirm that. And that is actually going to help out a little bit. Because Antonia is going to pass away in 8.6 days. And Antonia is our best miner. She is the person we have that goes out and does the mining. We don't really want to have to train somebody else up to the same level as her. So, Antonia, 8.6 days remaining. I think what we do is let's send you over to the medicine cabinet, you can have yourself an elixir of youth, Antonia. You go and have this. You've got a child to look after. You've got a child to look after. It's very important. So Antonia, come over and have a drink of one of these things. So what are you now? 8.5 days you got. And now, when you've had this, eventually, have you drank it yet? Okay, 25 extra days. So that's good. Now she's got 33 and a half days. However, she is feeling a bit dead inside. So the elixir has rejuvenated her body, but it clouds my mind. I feel older than ever, but that's only minus three. She's optimistic, which is plus seven. So overall, it's an actual plus still. So she's gained 33, well, no, gained whatever it was, 25 days. And yeah, she's not actually lost anything from her mood. She's still up on the deal, which is very good indeed. Right, Horst. How many of these have you... That's, no, that's not the right button. Maybe I press, uh, if I press the right button, it might help. You also have three points to spend. I think you also have this, Horst. You can become optimistic as well. And then, Horst, you're a little bit hungry, right? It's all fine. Um, let's go and have a chat with our goblin friends. Go and have a little bit of a trade deal with them. I mean, they're just you know, relaxing in the snow. It's fine. Make snow angels or something, you know, pass the time. So Horst is currently... What are you doing? Did you stop off for food, Horst? Come on now. Here we go. Right, so, have a chat with you guys. Can we buy an elixir of youth, please? One of those. Um, we will give you... What do we want to give you? 40... They're coming for 22. So to try and offset the damage, what if we sell you 10 of those? So we're going to pay 777 coins. That's quite satisfying. 777. And we're still going to have enough co uh, enough uh, medicine to give to the pirates. Yeah, okay. Confirm that trade. Right, now Horst, you're going to pass away in 12.8 days. Horst, you also need to come over here and drink an elixir of youth, please. This is very important. You need to be around to look after your child and so on and so forth. You just need to be here for an awfully long time. So again, it's going to make you feel dead inside, but because you're optimistic, you're kind of up on the deal. Your mood is still plus four, and you've got some extra life, which is wonderful. Okay, 
There we go. So those two are sorted. Oh, and a trader has arrived. Dr. Pete, whereabouts are you? You're making some beer. That is very important. I'm going to interrupt you ever so slightly because let's go and see what we can get from trading. Oh, this is going to be wonderful. They've got nine scrolls for sale. So we will put nine scrolls on our buy list. We want nine of those, please. And that's kind of all we want to buy from them. Everything else we can get on our own. We can make our own illness medicine and healing potions and stuff now. So let's get rid of the Master Forester's clothes. So two of those, we're paying 639 monies for nine scrolls, which are very expensive. But then two pirate cutlasses, away with those. Now we're only paying 339. And then we have ourselves 10 lots of pirate clothes. So away with the 10 lots of pirate clothes. In fact, we can't even sell them all. We can't sell all of those things because we haven't got enough room for the money. Do you know what? Get rid of one lot of pirate clothes. We're going to make 1,011 coins and we're going to pick up nine scrolls. Yep, yeah, that's all very silly, but confirm that trade. In fact, do you know what? Get rid of a Master Forester's clothes and sell the final bit of pirate clothing. We don't want pirate stuff hanging around. We're not associated with the pirates. They're all troublemakers. So um, yeah, we're going to make 811 coins. That's going to pay back our sort of our elixir of life, whatever it was the horse just had. So yes, please. And now we have ourselves scrolls. So Horst, Horst, no time to relax, Horst. There are very important things to be done. Go and analyze some scrolls because I think that's where we've kind of stopped. That's where the research has stopped. I imagine it's scroll based, but there we go. And look at that Wolfgang and Betty just sitting around the fire, just spending some time. That's quite nice. Oh yeah, I didn't I didn't get you to do your learning, Betty. Hang on a minute. Right, go to go to sleep. You might actually be going to bed. Yeah, you're going to bed. Right, when she wakes up, um she's gonna stand on her back quite quickly. That's okay. Um she'll need a bite to eat, but then yes, we'll try and get her to we'll try and get her to learn something. We'll try and get her to go and actually learn some stuff from the little bookcase thing. Okay, she's rested, she has eaten, so let's go and learn some life skills. Here we go. Right, so these are going to slowly tick up. At some point, you're going to say you're bored. I get it. It's fair. Yes, it's okay. There you go. So your mood's coming down because you are a bit bored. But yeah, look, you've got three childhood experiences just there. There's a green three. We have no education. So you're just going to have to, you're just going to have to lump it, I'm afraid. You're just going to have to put up with it, Betty. I do apologise. But you know, it's fine. It's it's good. You're, you're learning exciting things. Hello again. Do you have the items? Yes, here you go. Cheerio. Bye-bye. See you later, pirates causing trouble, taking our things. Okay, right. So let's just make sure that she actually does get this. She is going to become a little bit grumpy about this. Yeah, that's... By the time she gets to the top of that, that is going to be a great big negative mood debuff. That's not going to be good at all. Okay, but you know what? I'm now determined. I now think she needs to get one point in education. That needs to go all the way up to the top, and she needs to get at least one point in this. And here we go, 97, 98, 99, and 100. Okay, right, you've got a point of education. You may now uh, go to here and build the snowman. That is what we commandeth. Go and do something fun. Or, or just go and try and impress somebody. Whatever, just, just ignore us, it's fine. You're a kid, kids do that all the time. And Horst has got an inspiration for a masterpiece, has he? Has he indeed? Wolfgang Horst is on it. He's 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 trying to make up for the failure of his past. Okay, thirty-one pieces of cloth. I think we probably have more than enough. Yeah. Okay, two hundred and sixty-nine bits of wood. Do you know what? Yes. All right. One hundred and forty-two bits of stone. Yes. Okay. Uh, you need the mason's workshop in your house. Of course you do. Hang on. Let's just let's put that back. Um. I mean, where... Well, hang on a minute. I need to turn this around. Where can it go? Where can it go? Temporarily. It can go just there. It's all fine. Um, right, Horst. Seeing as this is your idea, Horst. Um, oh, hang on. Finish your scroll first, Horst. We'll get this done and then we'll go and work on your inspiration. Apparently, Horst needs to drink beer. I mean, I don't know if that's linked to his inspiration or just because he's now a parent. I don't really know. I mean, okay, Horst. <laughs> it's fine. That's going to bed, though, isn't it, Horst? That's going to bed. I, I mean, do we need to tell you to go and drink beer? You can go and have a beer. It's okay. It's fine, Horst. Okay, right, hang on. Let's just sort this out. I was going to wrap things up, but I just want to get Horst slowly working on that. Oh, Betty feels sad. Oh, yeah, she's tired of studying and she had to witness a terrible joke. 
Yeah, that's uh, that's not good, is it? Who told Betty a terrible joke? Come on, own up. Who's who's insulting the children? Okay, Horst, go over here and drink beer. You need to be a little bit drunk for your inspiration. I'm intrigued, Horst. I'm genuinely intrigued. Okay, what are we doing here? So he's gone to sit down. There he is. He's just sort of slopping beer into his face. Now he needs to talk. Okay, talk to... Where's Betty? Go and talk to your daughter, Horst. Go over here, have a chat with her. So you two can meet in the middle somewhere. Right, Horst is talking and that's that done. So Horst has had a nice talk with his daughter. And yeah, the tide of studying debuff is coming down, which is quite good. And okay, now go and work on this thing. And hopefully it will be brilliant this time, Horst. Right, go and work on your masterpiece. And I think with that done, we will finish up for now. We will finish things up for the moment. But things are looking very good. We've got ourselves a child. We've got a child in the colony. This is wonderful. This is very exciting. So welcome, Betty. It's a very special thing that you're here. It is a wonderful thing. And um, yeah, Horst is working on this. We've nearly got strong watchtowers done. That is nearly done. And that's actually the second biggest bit of research. So we've got rid of that early. So I was thinking, oh my goodness me, it's taking forever to get that done. But that's 100 crystals and 20 scrolls. That's a big bit of research. I mean, forging is 80 and 15, so it's less. Weapon forging, weirdly, after forging, is 40 and 15. So yeah, that is the second biggest. Shipbuilding is the biggest. But yeah, this is good stuff. I'm glad that's almost done. I think we might need some more scrolls, but we'll yeah we'll call the we'll call the merchant people in if we need more scrolls and stuff. But uh, but yeah, things are looking good. Food's looking good. Resources are good. Money is looking splendid. So yes, I think we're in a very good place to leave it for now. We'll come back. We'll try and educate Betty a little bit more. We'll see what horse masterpiece is if it works. No pressure horse, but you know bed of tranquility and everything. And then we'll just carry on. We'll just try and finish the research and just plough through the game and get all that kind of stuff sorted and then see what we can build when we've got more research things. But yeah, for the moment, we will finish things up. Hopefully you are still enjoying this. If you are, please do leave a like. That would be very, very lovely indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Founder's Fortune. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I will see you next time. I really hope I don't have to send children down into coal mines or whatever because I would feel like a terrible person. Hello, robot. And I shall call you Alan. Still some homeless people. Still hungry people. Still sick people. Okay. If you try and reach London, you will end up frosty and dead. Great big human lollipop.